big stage right now. But before we get beyond these highlights, we want to give a thank you to, of course, Nissan. Show your love for the Face Clan Elite Cup today. Face Clan Elite Cup's partner at Nissan USA for making this all happen. Big thank you to, of course, Face Clan, their partner Nissan here. This has been an incredible week of games, literally taking over Twitch. We've had some awesome, awesome highlights come about from this community involvement as well. Just everything. It's been great. Hopefully, you guys in the chat are enjoying your experience right now as well as we're approaching the final instances now. This is where Fortnite becomes so addicting for most, right? It's the end game. You can't find this anywhere else. These kind of moments are what the pro players play for. Absolutely. And I wish every team around x Trio had a Nissan for themselves to be able to just speed and drive away. Four wheel drive, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Just get away from these stink bombs, man. Use the onboarding air conditioning, whatever it is. Like, you got to just do something. <laughs> these things aren't stopping. 90 stink grenades, monster. That's the total potential for a trio. And I think I've heard these things be thrown at least 40 times so far. Yeah, it's still going on. And look, except back to Cap, by the way, on the arrows. Doesn't matter how much you use. When your teammates have some extras due to drop, it's over. They get to fully cap back off. That's why he is so big chilling, able to continue <laughs> to put that pressure down. That is when you wipe out a team, you get their arrows. Now suddenly you go from 90 arrows to, you know, another big max. We, we go straight to 180. We go, we go straight to even more. I wouldn't be surprised if he already threw 90 so far. And, and if he's still going to keep going right now, he, he may as well. Complete control of the southern side of the zone is basically what Except has. In the bottom right side is exactly where the trio is. The hot pink arrows right below the purple. Meanwhile, Jack Slacks and Acorn, the people in first place. Not by a mile at all. It's a three-point game now after the Elam that Except picked up. They're going to have to play this very carefully. Tragic. So trio that'll hop on you fast. Except, though, is not stopping. My goodness. This is crazy. Definitely doing his thing right now. They're getting focused because they're on the outside right here. Every team can look at them. They're trying to use this bow the way you're supposed to, but no. Too much of a flashy jump shot there instead of being traditional with the builds. Got to follow Snake's lead. Snake, first place is on the line here. And they have the worst case scenarios. They're getting pressured out. Costs them so much of their metal material right now as well. RPGs have to come out. They're using everything in their firepower right now to hold back opponents from targeting them. And at least they find a moment. They do find a moment. On the other side, the first place team coming in since Acorn, Slacks, and Jack. Even better position. We definitely have a race here, Shio. Definitely. Side by side. It's just the HP for Accept, although he's doing so much damage, you know, conditioning the lobby. Is low overall, and it looks like if I'm hearing things correctly, we no longer have trucks driving through art galleries. I don't hear glasses and ceramic pieces shattering because of these stink bow sound effects. The stinks have stopped, it's clean air. Environment looks fresh, looks good, but on height is Arab and Sevi. Don't see the, tr the trio partner nearby at all, though, so it might just be a two man operation. When these guys are on height, they make sure everyone else's lives are as difficult as possible near the low ground the biggest issue too with except being low is if this zone clips him for even a second he can only take two ticks he has some of the best stuff in the loadout snake though has an rpg i haven't even used the biggest boomstick i was talking about trucks driving through art galleries they have a nuke available in the inventory as well just eradicate oh. art completely 180 oh, through the floor no. what the double snake. pump oh my gosh the floor breaks the second pump comes through that was ridiculous and there goes the lobby focus they're back in it like they never left guys full refresher material ammunition everything in between slick just got embarrassed by that my gosh wow but no the pressure comes in the focus is too real they get taken wow. out and the dream might all be over it's up to boy it'll really put it on his back right now so many Elims as well. They have six already. Acorn is the team putting back pressure here as well. As Voyo is still trying to hold on to dear life. The lobby's coming in with it. Even pressure from below. It is Acorn. The first place team looking to take out the second place. He's the one starting the fight here. They're in the mix on top of Jelty. We already know Slick is gone. 
They were all a part of this fight here. Voyu does manage to get away. But for how long? Oh, no. And at what cost? Two hundred fifty 150 mats just left. No brick, no metal. If there's a fire boat in hand. There's still a dream. I don't know, man. This is rough. There's too many trios. It's too open. This isn't an urban suburb. These, these are rural, rural fields completely. There's nowhere to hide. There's no mountain to just, you know, delay your inevitable doom by, like, aspect of that one game. They're kind of out in the open and only have about three boxes to make. I don't know how he'll make it through, but for the first place team of Slacks, Acorn, and Jack, that is really good. Could be the competition sealed in already with this team alive in the top 16. And we need to get wiped out team to do it definitely Saf and Stretch who were up top on high ground you saw them on the zip line there for a second they still maintain that high ground Jack's already down Voyle's still up fall into spare bow here they can't get the save this time to fire back from Slack but no Slacks is down too now Acorn is by himself what was that Shia what did you say again <laughs> what was that I, Shia? I can't hear you anymore I said it might be sealed, but looks like there was a letter opener in the business in the form of spare bow. So Acorn still going. Documents still open to sign at the same time. Acorn, 200 metal, 60 brick. Has a chance to keep winning the placement. Sap down, Rokane deleted. Savvy, high ground, effective as well. This could go Zap any which down. way so far. Mac was still in this at top five here, but no. Stretch is there. Gone. Acorn swings back around. Here's DJ and Angels. DJ. DJ barely gets out of there. Agers barely gets out of there. They have nothing to work with. Acorn in the zone right now. 20 tick. He's gone. Not possible. Falls at the same time as Voyle because Chimp finds Voyle. Timeout. They're both Hold down. Up. Top 10. Both down wondering if any of them, one of them picked up enough healers to place. actually change everything. So oh. it, it, it might be might be possible. But first and second are not gone. It could be Mackwood's win here. It escalates them all the way towards the top. Has to have a lot of Elims already has seven. But it's about 40 points away. They're 40 points away from the victory from when the game started. So I'm not sure about now. They need a phenomenal performance here. They wrap up at least half the slobby to be able to win out the tournament. They can still they can still do something here. We'll see it. This is still a fight for top three. It's still a fight for top two. Up in the air right now. Bucky, Mackwood, Kanata. Looking like the FNCS final game, same way they try to get this last and final victory to really jump themselves all the way up and give this storyline a run for its money. Four teams remaining. The Elims are there. They have seven. They have to continue to close out strong here. Chip down low. He gets deleted. He's gone. Have they wrapped it up? The worst thing possible right now is this zone hits inside the stack. And their high ground means nothing. But if they can force the server to stop moving beforehand, that could mean that they win out. Bully's not got the extra mats. Just has 300 to operate with. He has to just move up one single layer. Go 32. into that stack. Go for the big boost up. They're there now. But can they fly? Here it is. Bully is home. This is their home spot. This is their drop spot. But no. Creo gets beamed up first. The builds are not there. The zone does the rest. Bully is by himself in a 3v1 situation. He goes up through the stack for high ground. Mac was outside of it. He pops a heal though. Bully is on height. Up comes Bucky. This could be a free opportunity. Listen, it only takes one at a time. That's all he needs. Don't give him the 1v1 or it'll all be over. He's trying to bait him here. The fake out. Now down he comes, oh, no. but no, he gets held out. There's not much you can do if you're Bully, but hey, he's going to fight to the final instances here. He's not going to give it up for free. And there you guys have it. The final game of the Elite Cup Series is over, and it's taken by Mackwood and crew. Mackwood, Bucky, Kanata winning out the final game, also in the top five. And we saw at least three of those teams go down early. Could go any which way. I mean, give me a refresher, guys. I want to know what happened in that game. Show me some of these replays because that was a scary one from start to finish. Dude, that was crazy. I mean, we're going to see it. We're going to see Voyo in there. We're going to see Rokane. We're going to see the snake. Here it is. Snake. Expert. We saw Jack Acorn Slacks. Where did they fall? Dude, that shot right there. My gosh, a double shot onto Slick for 180. And then everything just went south here. We counted them out, but you couldn't count them out. Acorn started picking up Elims there, too. And that's and the, where Stretch went down. GG. That's exactly where Stretch went down. GG for them entirely. Acorn also going down a little bit at the same time as Voil towards the end game, which was huge.
ended up seeing mac with you know holding out the entire way towards the end as well which was dope bully almost got the clutch back but that vr could be the difference between first place and second i don't know how to call it i don't know when and where to call it but man this is a close three to four way tie yeah, and, and the VRs were 30 points. Like, they did not have the consistency of Slack, Jack, and Acorn, or Slack, Jack, and Acorn, excuse me. Just such good players overall. The best rounded out squad in the region that we've seen so far between two very different metas as well. Shout out to Macwood, Kanata, and Bucky as well off that last game. That win rocketing them from fifth all the way to third place. Stay up their prizing. Stretch Avery and Saf throughout their high ground retakes end up with fourth as well throughout the day. And Edgy sent to the commandment also looking so good to round out the top five. Just overall, all the teams that we've seen top 10 and beyond today look so good and look so good to the entire tournament. I mean, this was this was really fun, Monster. That was great. And listen, for anyone in the top five, these are the best teams out there, guys. It was a close, close competition overall. Shy, I'm going to give you the floor one good time like user before we get out of here. <laughs> Tell me what you got, brother. Hey, man, guys, if you have not checked out Acorn, Slacks, and Jack yet, please go to their socials. Any Do content it. they're making, the media, go for it. See what is up.